Welcome back. A European and Japanese space mission is setting off to study Mercury, one of the most mysterious planets in our solar system. The Baby Colombo spacecraft will blast off on board an Ariane 5 rocket from French Guiana in the early hours of Saturday morning, beginning a seven-year journey to the closest planet on Earth. Our space correspondent Jeremy Wilkes is with me now to explain more about this. Jeremy, I've got one thing to say. Seven years! Seven years, yes. It's a seven-year trip. So, Mercury, closest planet to the Sun. Theoretically, not that far. 77 million kilometres, which isn't that far in space terms. But they want to be energy efficient because they want to be able to take as much in terms of scientific payload as they can. So they're taking a long route round. Um, and they're using some special ion thrusters, which is very clever technology made in the UK. And they are going to go around the Earth, twice around Venus and six times around Mercury before they can start to break into position. I had a little chat with um, ESA's project scientist, Johannes Benkoff, about this. Let's have a listen. One special thing about Mercury is that it is a very fast rotating planet around the Sun. And so on one hand, we are breaking against Sun's gravity, but on the other hand, we have to speed up our spacecraft that we fly together with Mercury. And when we are there, then we can put our two orbiters in the dedicated orbits to do their best uh, for, for science. So it's an awfully long journey. What's uh, Bepi Colombo going to do when it actually gets there? Well, when it gets there, it's going to try and understand the mysteries of Mercury. The uh, Messenger mission from NASA went there um, earlier this decade and found out that basically Mercury, Mercury is a pretty weird place. I'll give you a couple of reasons why. Um, they found water ice on its poles, which for a planet which is close to the sun, the temperatures of 450 degrees is pretty strange. Um, its orbit is odd, so three days on Mercury equal two years on Mercury. Mercury, try and get your head around that. Um, it also is shrinking. It's lost about seven kilometers of its radius over the, over the lifetime of the planet. Nobody really understands why. Again, um, for my space report coming up tonight, I had a little chat with uh, Jörn Helbert, a planetary scientist at DLR. Let's have a listen to him. The really big thing of Bepi Colombo is that we finally get a complete picture of Mercury. Uh, so with the messenger mission, we've seen the northern hemisphere and parts really, really well. We have seen the southern hemisphere extremely bad uh, because we've been far away. And for a planetary scientist, that's really driving you crazy because you have seen that one part and you don't know if the rest is the same or if there is something completely different. And so how long is it going to take for us to find out more? Yeah, so it gets there in 2025 and so in 2025, 2025, 2026, 2027, we'll start to get some answers and uh, find out what's so, what is making the Mercury so mysterious. Well, we'll be following.